Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the lecture on analysis of RTD curves. So, in the past lectures we uh, talked about uh, uh, different aspects uh, during the uh, physical modeling. So, how uh, we have uh, we have seen that uh, the tracer is injected then uh, you have uh, to draw these uh, using the stimulus response techniques. So, you have to draw uh, to trace the concentration may be in the pulse manner uh, the tracer is added or it may be added in the uh, step manner. So, by that uh, you are getting the uh, RTD curve and uh, we must understand uh, uh, try to understand that uh, how these uh, you know RTD curves are to be you know understood. So, uh, uh, what does it signify especially uh, we will uh, talk about uh, you know uh, finding the uh, mean residence time then uh, also the mean and uh, you know variance of these uh, residence time. So, uh, uh, from these RTD curves so that is what uh, our aim will be uh, in uh, this uh, lecture. So, uh, what we uh, saw so once you get the uh, you know uh, RTD curve. So, you have to get the, the mean of the RTD curve and the mean of the RTD curve. So, that can be uh, found uh, by the uh, expression. So, that you will be writing as T mean. So, T mean will be uh, you know integral of 0 to uh, infinity uh, T C D T. And, and it will be divided by uh, integral uh, 0 to infinity uh, c d t. So, um, uh, as you know that uh, you are having on the f c psi you have the time axis on the ordinate you have the concentration axis. So, uh, so as uh, you know uh, with time so you will have this uh, uh, t c d t and uh, divided by c d t. So, if you can see the analyze even by dimension wise it will be uh, something in terms of time. So, this time basically will be known as the uh, you know uh, T mean. So, uh, mean residence time. Then uh, if the uh, concentration is measured in the equal time in intervals. So, if uh, concentration is measured in equal time intervals. Now, in that case uh, you will have uh, equal time interval of delta t. So, that is of uh, delta t. In that case uh, you will have to have the expression for the t mean and this t mean in that case will be uh, summation of t i c i delta t. So, that will be summation and that will be divided by again C i delta t. So, it will be C i delta t. So, uh, if the equal time interval is there that is delta t in that case that will cancel. So, uh, it will be uh, summation of uh, T i C i and uh, divided by summation of C i. So, this is uh, going to tell you uh, this by this. So, once you have these uh, concentration data uh, with time then we can um, uh, find the, uh, the mean residence time uh, inside the uh, tundis. So, that is uh, done by this formula. You can uh, find the uh, variance of uh, uh, this quantity. Uh, so, this uh, variance so that will be the statistical variance. So, that uh, uh, talks about the uh, spread you know uh, spread of the this residence time about the mean. 
So, uh, so that uh, variance is calculated that is spread of the uh, you know residence time distribution about the mean. So, that is uh, um, uh, found by sigma t square. So, as we know we have uh, to take the difference of the individual value with the mean value and then it taking the square and then further you are taking the you remember, I mean we are uh, further you know uh, taking the ratio. So, that will be uh, 0 to infinity and then you have in this case you have t minus t mean. So, t mean what you calculate using the uh, you know earlier uh, expression. So, that will be square and then c d t and uh, that will be divided by integral of uh, uh, 0 to infinity uh, c d t. So, this way uh, you calculate the, the variance of the residence time distribution about the mean. Now, here also if you have the equal time interval. So, so for concentration measurement at equal time interval. So, in that case uh, again you uh, give the uh, term delta t. So, so that will be uh, sigma t square it will be again summation over i. So, that will be uh, you know uh, t i minus t mean. So, that will be squared and uh, then you have uh, c i into delta t uh, and that will be divided by again uh, summation over i that is c i delta t. So, that way uh, you know as delta t is uh, equal. So, that will be anyway uh, cancelled. So, it will be um, summation of uh, t i square c i over summation of uh, c i that is i. So, that is what uh, we have uh, uh, seen. So, this is uh, t mean and uh, this is your uh, so that was mean time and in this case uh, you have this as the uh, you know uh, uh, the uh, variance that is uh, computed uh, here. So, that way you have the square term and this way you compute these uh, uh, mean and variance uh, of the RTD curve. Uh, when you get these uh, uh, values uh, experimentally or by uh, you know any other means like simulation or so. Then, uh, if you are talking about the uh, C curve, so in the case of uh, C curve, so uh, so from C curve, so in that uh, you will have the uh, uh, dimensionless, uh, you know, uh, mean of residence time distribution. So you can calculate the dimensionless. mean of residence time distribution so in that case you have dimensionless term which will be uh, coming to picture so that will be defined by uh, theta bar and uh, that you will uh, be calculating as 0 to infinity uh, theta c d theta and and that will be divided by 0 to infinity uh, c d theta so same way in that case you have c d t and here you have uh, capital C. So, that is your dimensionless term. So, then uh, you calculate it as c d theta, uh, d theta. So, that will be the uh, dimensionless mean. Uh, similarly, you have uh, uh, the calculation of uh, the uh, you know uh, variance. So, dimensionless variance So, uh, dimensionless variance basically uh, will be uh, again uh, based on the uh, relation. So, that will be sigma square. So, it will be uh, 0 to infinity and it will be theta minus theta bar that is uh, the dimensionless uh, mean value. So, it is a square term and then c d theta and that will be uh, divided by uh, you know uh, c d theta c d theta. So, this will be 0 to infinity. So, that was uh, you know uh, for the uh, continuous function. Now, if you uh, take for the equal time interval. 
So, uh, for uh, measurement at equal time interval, so uh, in that case, uh, your uh, you know uh, equation will be like you have theta bar. So that uh, theta um, so that will be summation of uh, c i theta i. So that will be summation over i and then that will be summation of c i. So, that way you will have the uh, theta bar the theta average and similarly you will have uh, the um, variance. So, that will be theta i you know uh, square c i and uh, um, that will be summation of uh, c i and then we are going to have the subtraction of theta bar square. So, this way uh, you know we calculate these uh, uh, you know uh, mean as well as the uh, variance quantities uh, in the case of the RTD curves. So, so we can understand it uh, using uh, one example. So, uh, suppose uh, uh, you have one example where uh, there is concentration measurement. So, that you can understand using uh, that example. So, uh, the uh, concentration readings uh, are uh, plotted for uh, you know continuous response to a pulse input into a closed vessel. So, uh, you know for that one uh, uh, which is used as a chemical reactor. So, for that uh, there are uh, readings and uh, you will have the uh, reading of the concentration at uh, different times. So, you have uh, time you know uh, t that is in minutes and uh, then you have the uh, you know tracer output that is given. So, there is a tracer output concentration that is C pulse that is in the term of gram per liter fluid. So, suppose uh, you have uh, the values which are uh, given to you. So, suppose at uh, you are taking at interval of 5 uh, minutes so 0, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 and 35. So, suppose this way you are uh, uh, monitoring this uh, tracer output concentration uh, at these times and uh, the values which you are uh, getting is at 0 it is 0, then you have 3, 5, 5, then uh, you have uh, 4, uh, 2, 1 and 0. So, this way uh, suppose uh, your uh, uh, concentration readings are coming when you are measuring it. So, there are many uh, measuring devices you have uh, conductivity meters are there by which you can measure and there are many red data stick is there. So, there are many devices which are used for measuring these uh, uh, output concentration. So, you can um, find the uh, uh, mean residence time. So, the mean residence time So, that will be uh, T bar. So, it will be uh, you have uh, as you know that you have the uh, delta T of uh, 5 minutes. So, uh, you have a summation of uh, T i C i delta T i uh, and summation of uh, C i and delta T i. So, as delta T is constant, so you will be writing as summation of T i C i and uh, that will be Mm, summation of uh, T i C i and then uh, that will be uh, by the ratio of summation of C i. So, uh, you will be uh, multiplying uh, these and then you will be adding. So, if you uh, you know add so that way uh, T i C i. So, you are adding so that will be uh, first will be uh, you know 0 then you have uh, you know uh, 15 plus so you will have 0 plus uh, 15 so that is 15 then you have uh, 50 mm, then you have 75 80 then uh, you have uh, 50 
plus 30. So, this is uh, coming and then you have 0 and if you add the uh, concentration. So, so that is uh, T i C i and then you are having the concentration uh, you know summation. So, that is 3 plus 5 plus 5 plus 4. So, this will be 3 plus 5 plus 5 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. So, it will be 65 plus 75 uh, you know 140, 220, 270 and this is 300 and, uh, and, and, and if you this is um, 10, 13 uh, for um, you know 17. So, 3, three, six, or three six, 300 by uh, 20. <coughs> So, uh, you know, uh, you are getting uh, the value of, uh, you know, 15. So, uh, 15 minute, 15 minute is, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the mean resonance time that is uh, what uh, uh, you are calculating. This, uh, this 15 minute time is the mean resonance time when you have, uh, you know, such, uh, such are the readings. So, 15 minute will be the, the mean resonance time. Now, uh, what we uh, see in this case uh, uh, normally uh, you also can find the, uh, the variance of also the, uh, uh, the mean resonance time variance about uh, the means variance of the RTD curves can be drawn uh, you know uh, in this case. Uh, uh, so, um, and also you can uh, plot the RTD. So, you have uh, at 0 it is 0 then at uh, 5 you will have 3. So, uh, you can have uh, uh, that uh, value also and what you see that you will get uh, some similar kind of uh, uh, curve you will be getting. So, at the uh, different times you will have the values coming and uh, this way you can have the uh, value of uh, the uh, you can have the plot of the uh, RTD curve. So, depending upon, so what happens that when you uh, do the experiment, uh, in that case uh, you have, uh, you can either you can measure uh, manually or you have the, you can connect it with the computer, you get the readings. These readings are basically, uh, you know, uh, stored in computer. So, you can have it in uh, stored in Excel or in any, uh, you know, uh, graph uh, plotting software and then from there you can uh, draw the uh, curves. So, that is how uh, you know you draw. So, you can uh, further calculate the uh, variance over this. So, you know the mean then uh, you will be uh, taking the difference of uh, the value uh, from the mean. So, that way and, and accordingly you can have the calculation of uh, uh, variance also. Then uh, we will uh, talk about the uh, other uh, model which is a conceptual uh, model and that is uh, also used for the analysis of uh, uh, these uh, response uh, techniques. So, that is uh, you know uh, 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 that is uh, known as the tank series, um, tank in series model. So, many a times uh, we feel that it is like uh, tanks which are uh, you know uh, which are the uh, where the mixing is taking place and they are uh, connected in series. So, in that case the response of the uh, tracer which is uh, uh, there at the uh, different uh, you know uh, places. So, that uh, you know uh, how that uh, response will be coming, how they, they will be responding to the changes in the concentration. So, um, uh, that is uh, to be seen. So, uh, if you talk about uh, the, this uh, tank in series model, so your uh, uh, tank in series model is there. Now, in that case uh, what we uh, talked is that uh, uh, you can have the tanks uh, connected in series and uh, you have these uh, you know tanks as the well mixed tanks. So, they will be giving the you know they will be uh, giving the tracer responses and uh, they are similar to that uh, is given by the dispersion model. So, uh, you know any type of uh, such model can be used to uh, correlate the experimental data you know uh, 
uh, which is obtained. So, you will have the some uh, model results and then you will guess see that the exp uh, from the experiments also you get uh, that kind of RTD curves uh, when you have the uh, you know um, uh, outlets which are uh, far away. So, when you have a vessel where the input is coming at one place and then you have different uh, places where you have to uh, measure the output. So, it is like uh, you can uh, it is like uh, the tanks which are connected in series. So, in those uh, that uh, number of tank that numbered tank you will have the tracer response in a different manner. So, uh, if you uh, recall uh, for a for one tank. So, this is uh, the if you recall that if you go for the C curve. So, C curve uh, for one well mixed tank. So, as you know that uh, uh, you recall that uh, uh, the uh, for the well mixed flow the exponential uh, you know uh, that uh, curve was uh, seen. So, in that case uh, th that will be represented by c equal to e raise to the power minus theta. Similarly, if you have uh, you know uh, uh, n well mixed uh, tank and they are uh, in series connected together. So, for the uh, for those uh, n well mixed tanks uh, you know uh, uh, in series. So, uh, for those n, n well tanks in series. So, C curve again will be given by uh, will be uh, given by the equation. So, for that uh, you have C equal to n raised to the power n theta raised to the power n minus 1 e raised to the power minus n theta divided by n minus 1 factorial. So, this is uh, you know uh, for when the, you have n well mixed tanks in series you can predict the uh, value of the concentration uh, you know according to uh, this. So, uh, and if you uh, take the uh, variance of these uh, curves. So, variance of the curves uh, if you uh, you know determine it will be 1 by n. So, uh, you know uh, these uh, experimental data which you uh, get and uh, you have the uh, you know uh, uh, theoretical C curve. So, you both can be matched and, and your uh, uh, results can be validated for uh, the uh, different tanks. So, and can be uh, even as I said that and maybe in a non integer also. So, uh, this is uh, you know one parameter uh, uh, model and uh, here uh, the parameter is that the number of tanks. So, uh, based on that uh, n. Now, uh, if you go for the uh, large number of n. So, if you take a c equal to 1 it will uh, lead to the same value if you take c as uh, I mean n as 1 if you take n as 2. So, it will have a different value. What we see that as you go uh, as you increase the uh, value of n. So, as the value of n is increasing. So, it becomes more and more uh, symmetrical in shape. So, so it has uh, it is it is found that uh, for uh, a large number of tanks that is n. So, uh, C curves become increasingly symmetrical. So, uh, you know uh, if you see the first curve will be it's like exponential 1. So, it will be starting from 1 and it will go for well mixed flow, but as the, the n is increasing. So, uh, that uh, tends to be more and more symmetrical. So, uh, so that can be uh, seen uh, and uh, for the uh, closed vessel uh, you know uh, it, 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 if you try to see that. Uh, uh, if you that can be understood by having the analysis of these plots. So, what is seen is that if you have c as this and if you have theta on this line. So, for n equal to 1 uh, it will go like this. So, this is for n equal to uh, 1. Now, uh, the thing is that uh, 
uh, if you uh, have n equal to 2, so that uh, will uh, move like this. Uh, similarly, if you have uh, you know uh, for, for example, if you have n equal to 6, so it may go like this and if you have n equal to 20, so it will move like uh, this. So, this is n equal to 2, this is equal to 6, this is n equal to 20. So, this has been uh, reported in the uh, literature. So, uh, you know what happens that uh, uh, if you see this uh, when it is n equal to 1, uh, this is uh, basically uh, this is how it starts from uh, here that is uh, 1 and you have uh, uh, 0.5 and then this will go as 1.5. Similarly, uh, you have uh, uh, theta as uh, uh, somewhere 1 here and uh, then uh, you will have uh, uh, this side you have 0 0.5 and this side you have 0 uh, 1.5 or so. Now, uh, this uh, both these uh, tank and series model as well as uh, we have studied about the uh, dispersion models where we have uh, got the expression for uh, the uh, you know uh, for C. So, depending upon the values dispersion numbers and all that uh, d by u l and all. If you compare, so if you uh, see both these uh, uh, models, they give uh, rise to similar type of uh, curve that is C curve. And uh, if you compare these two models, so you can have you know after comparison you can see that you will get 1 by n will be uh, 2 into d e by u l. So, that is your dispersion vessel dispersion number minus 2 into uh, d e by uh, u l raised to the power minus 2 and then you have in bracket it will be coming 1 minus exponential minus of u l by d e. So, this is uh, how uh, you uh, for the closed vessel. So, this is uh, you know for closed vessel uh, this is the correlation which is uh, you know uh, uh, which is coming uh, you know uh, once you uh, compare once you uh, take into consideration uh, the uh, models of the tank and series uh, model tank in series and, and all these uh, other uh, dispersion uh, models. So, uh, the uh, you know uh, and uh, that also, so we will also see that how these uh, you know what these indicate. So, basically when you have connected in series, when your uh, tanks are basically uh, connected in series. So, basically you have uh, this is the first tank. So, you will have uh, this tank here. So, this is uh, having uh, mixing here uh, and this is uh, mixing then you know it is uh, connected to the uh, second tank. So, here again uh, this is uh, uh, this is also rotating. So, you will have first this will have second. So, that way you will have uh, the uh, third one. So, so all these are uh, connecting and, and then that way it will uh, go to the nth tank. So, you will have n tank which is uh, connected in uh, series and uh, uh, you know. So, uh, uh, if you see that for this tank uh, uh, you know the here the mixing is uh, more. So, mixing has uh, this person has uh, this person is more. So, your is, it starts from here. However, if you go to uh, this tank. So, in this tank it has started uh, it has gone like this for uh, the uh, third one it will uh, so it will be delayed from here and uh, it will go on delaying uh, as you uh, uh, go towards the uh, larger value of n. So, uh, that is indicative of uh, the other things also like uh, you have different uh, reasons. Uh, if you see here, here you have completely well mixed zone uh, starting whereas, if you go to the other regions. So, in this there is no dispersion. So, you have a certain component like the uh, plug component. So, you have mixed component as well as plug component. So, those things uh, you know they are can be analyzed using these curves and they have uh, certain meaning. So, as, as you move uh, you see that it is getting delayed. So, this plug uh, the part is you know getting apparent here whereas, in this part plug part is uh, not seen because here is, uh, is pure mixing I mean well mixed flow 
uh, is uh, more prominent uh, uh, in this case. So, so that way you can have the analysis of uh, the curves in uh, different manners. So, uh, we will talk about uh, the other models also you have uh, the uh, combined or mixed models. So, uh, that with that model also we can analyze these uh, you know RTD curves and uh, in the coming lecture we will talk about uh, so uh, the analysis of these RTD curves for uh, uh, you know by taking into account the different uh, zones inside the tundis. So, you will have the uh, so this way you have you are seeing the plug zone. So, you will have uh, the mixed zone and similarly you will have dead zone. So, all these things will be uh, discussed as we uh, uh, so, we will have another uh, you know apart from this tank in series model also you have combined models. So, that we will discuss in our uh, coming lectures. Thank you very much.